I'm David Goforth with Simply Local. Today we're going to show you a technique called steaming. Pam sent me out here to get some vegetables for steaming. Uh, steaming work good on vegetables. Any dense vegetable will do good with steaming, but also you can steam fish and actually cook it faster steaming than you can grilling it or baking or any other way. Uh, let's take a look at some of the things we might find. Here's uh, some real nice squash. Squash is something that we find out here uh, most of the summer. It is a warm season vegetable, starts getting ripe around the May time frame and stays on until close to the end of the year, close to frost. Uh, we'll also want to pick up some green beans. That's a very excellent vegetable for steaming. Uh, this time of the year, you, you normally think about broccoli or cauliflowers being steaming, but they'll only be ripe during the fall of the year or during the spring of the year. And let's take this uh, squash inside and see what Pam can do with it. Well, Pam, I got you a few things from the farmer's market and I'm ready for another culinary adventure. Well, great, David. Thanks for bringing these great vegetables in. And I thought today that we might try the technique of steaming. We've done a lot of techniques earlier in Simply Local, but we've never steamed any vegetables. How does that sound to you? It sounds great. Not one I'm real familiar with, actually. Well, I hope that there are other people not very familiar with steaming. It is so quick and easy. And the great thing about steaming is that it promotes or prevents the nutrients from being lost and it also helps the vegetables retain their original shape and color and nutritive value. So let's get busy with some steaming. But before we start steaming, I just want to say that there's a couple or one or two tools that will make this easier. This is a steamer basket and you can purchase this at a little hardware store, a discount store, they're very inexpensive. And these are have been around for several years, they're not a new invention, but they make the process of steaming so much easier. And you'll notice that the basket is flexible and it, it closes up as you put it into your pot and then opens up as you're uh, ready to take it out. And there's a handle to handle this also. And you'll notice that there's about uh, uh, little spikes that are about one inch on the back. So we could use a steamer basket, which we're going to use mainly today, or probably a lot of people have an old-fashioned pot like this that's really maybe a pasta pot or a spaghetti pot or uh, a pot that they might be using to blanch vegetables. Uh, as you'll notice, though, it just kind of sits down into um, the larger pot and I have about an inch of water in there already and that's the secret with steaming. We're cooking by steam or we're cooking by vapor. We don't want the water to actually touch the vegetable. But let's get going. We've got a couple things here that I thought we might enjoy steaming and the first thing is a good old yummy carrot. Our first step is always wash the vegetable. Wash it thoroughly and also use a vegetable brush to brush off any excess dirt or any excess um, bacteria or any uh, type of material that's on this carrot. And you know, I've already done that. And uh, you'll notice now though, that the ends need to be trimmed because we don't want that in the um, steamer. And David, do we want to put it like this? I'd like to peel them sometimes myself. <laughs> Definitely. So we would just use a vegetable peeler and quickly peel the uh, carrot to kind of get the stem color and the uh, dark color off. I happen to have some already ready and we will just, uh, to get them ready to go in the basket, all we do is just chop them. And it's pretty important that we chop uh, the vegetables in uniform size so they'll cook uh, at the, about the same time. So we're just about ready to put our steam, our, our carrots in for steaming. And we'll grab a steamer basket and we'll load the carrots in. Isn't this easy? So far so good. This is going to be the easiest uh, technique we've ever done, David. It's going to be so easy. So we're now ready to just lift the carrots by the little handle into the steaming water. And when we get ready, the water should be boiling, and that is, and we also should have it about an inch thick. We don't want the water to come over this. And I'm gonna add a quarter. Not, What's that for, fam? Not for good luck, but if you put a quarter or marbles in the bottom of the pot, do you hear what's happening? You hear the marbles or quarters kind of clicking. 
this tells you the water's boiling and it also tells you there's enough water in there. So now we'll just drop the carrots in, open up the basket if you'd like to put the lid on. One lid. One lid coming up. And if we notice that we don't hear any more jingling, we know we need to add some extra liquid. So the carrots are gonna steam for about 10 to 20 minutes. And we can always set a timer, but you know, we have to watch this really closely because when you steam anything, it really cooks very, very, very quickly. Okay, so we've got the steamer, uh, the carrots going. How about some broccoli now? Are you ready for Sounds some good great. broccoli? Okay, well, coming from the farmer's market or the grocery store, wherever you might be, of course the broccoli needs to be washed. Then uh, we can remove these outer tougher uh, leaves. But I, my favorite thing to steam is broccoli flour flowerettes. I just, this is the most delicious uh, steamed vegetable, I think. So I already have the broccoli uh, washed and broken down into some uh, broccoli flowerettes, as they're called. Okay, how are we doing over there? Has it stopped boiling? We might need to add just a little bit more water. I think I want to add some more okay. water, actually. And we'll put it kind of on the side. Okay. Or, so you're not going to hurt anything by No, it's going to go anyway. down. That's right. Thanks, David. You're doing a great job. All right. Now, let's go ahead and toss the quarter or a nickel in there. And we're now ready to add the broccoli to be steamed. Not a spice, not a uh, grain of salt, nothing. And the broccoli is going to steam about eight to ten minutes. And if you'll kind of keep an eye and make sure that we're not running out of water. Um, and remember, as we're steaming these vegetables, these pots are really hot and it's so easy to get burned. I know I sound like kind of a grandmother, but when we open the lid to check on them, we'll open it away from us. Did you see the steam coming out? This is really, really hot down there, so we always want to open it away from us. So David, you're cooking, or you're Things steaming. Are you're Everything steaming ready. the vegetables. Yep. And um, I've got a couple spices out. When the vegetables are finished steaming, and we'll check in a few minutes, you want to add about a half a teaspoon of spice to the steamed vegetables. My favorite thing to add to those steamed carrots is cinnamon. This changes the whole taste of the carrots, and I guarantee if you have children, they'll love carrots with some cinnamon sprinkled on. Okay, let's keep going. What else can we steam? Well, I've got a lot of vegetables out here, don't I? Uh, green beans are wonderful steamed. They're absolutely wonderful. Of course, when we come from the farmer's market, we're gonna wash the green beans. Then uh, I always like to just remove the little stems or the little ends. That one actually, Pam, needs to be strong, I bet. Oh, does it? Okay. <laughs> this is probably a half runner, which is probably not your best choice. For steaming? For okay. steaming, but uh, it's what was available. All right. And sometimes you can steam them, of course. Okay, and I happen to have a few other beans that are ready. So what we will do with the green beans, we've washed them and we've patted them dry. You don't want them to start out with a lot of moisture on them. So we will just fill the steamer basket with green beans. Now we're not gonna actually, we're running out of pots and running out of room. We're not gonna actually steam these green beans. Uh, but the thing I wanted to mention right here is if you have a lot of green beans or a lot of vegetables in there, you may have to stop about halfway through and stir the vegetables. Also, if the vegetables are deep and you have a second layer of vegetables or a second layer of green beans, add more steaming time, okay? How are those vegetables looking over Thank there, you, David? So, so far, check, so good. check and make sure. Let's check and make sure that we do have some water in there. We do, and it's steaming. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a fork test. The carrots are definitely not ready. I'm testing by just simply putting a fork in and seeing if they're getting uh, soft or less crunchy. The broccoli will cook a little faster, and the broccoli is getting uh, closer to being ready, but it's not quite ready yet. Another popular vegetable from the farmer's market, and I, or this came from a local farm here in Cabarrus County, is the good old squash. And it is absolutely delightful steamed. 
after, of course, we've washed it and we've removed all the soil uh, or all the loose dirt, we will just simply slice it. We'll remove the end and we will slice the squash as I have done here already. The main thing with the squash is that you want the slices to be uniform. Um, that way it'll steam uh, equally and the, it will be finished at the same time. Let's move on now to another vegetable that is absolutely fantastic steamed and those are new potatoes. These new potatoes, all you have to do is wash them and then you're ready to put them in the steamer and they go into the boiling water. Now, I'll be honest, these new red potatoes will take about 20 to 30 minutes to steam. Whereas the broccoli and the carrots will be done in about 10 minutes. So th know as we go into this that these whole red tomatoes will need a little bit more steaming time. How are we doing over there? Not quite, not quite. Not quite, okay. The next thing we're gonna look at steaming is a eggplant. Wonder how many of us enjoy eggplants, uh, maybe with eggplant, as eggplant parmesan, but have you ever tried steaming an eggplant? Not steaming. Well, David, it's good. I'll tell you the secret to making it good. First of all, uh, I have already washed this eggplant, as you can see, and I've already sliced some already. But when we get ready to do steamed eggplant, we're just gonna cut down through the eggplant, trying to keep it even. And you notice I'm not peeling it. And I should have said that with the potatoes. I did not peel the potato. Why do you think I didn't peel the potato? Made some goody there in the skin. That's right. Now the skin is where the uh, majority of the nutrients are, and uh, you don't you don't really need to spend time cutting it. But with the zucchini, it's the same way. You could decide you wanted to do cube zucchini, or you could do sliced zucchini. And again, the zucchini will go in the steamer basket and we'll have to open it up a little bit more. Now, I'm not suggesting that we steam uh, zucchini and potatoes together, but this is just pretty much for demonstration right here. I'll tell you what's gonna make that zucchini absolutely wonderful when it's finished. Do you have any idea, David? Huh? Well, it's good old Parmesan cheese. That is the most wonderful uh, spice or wonderful ingredient to add to the steamed eggplant. It makes it delicious, and I think it makes it something children would be more likely to eat. And while we talk about children eating vegetables, you know, don't get discouraged if your children maybe don't like a vegetable the very first time you prepare it. It may take as many as 10 to 15 exposures to a new vegetable before a child would really eat the vegetable and accept the vegetable. And I bet there was a vegetable that maybe you didn't like when you, or have you always liked vegetables? Pam, the difference between what you will eat and what you won't eat uh -huh. is 24 hours. I don't understand that. <laughs> 24 hours. In other words, if you get hungry, you'll eat anything? Yes. Okay. Well, there are a lot of people today that really are not eating enough vegetables, so I'm so glad we had this opportunity to do a little segment on steaming vegetables. Now, let's walk back over here. How are things looking? I don't think we're quite ready. Okay. Let's do a test, and we're just going to reach in here, and I, I can't emphasize enough that we want them to be crisp tender. They will finish cooking a little bit. We're getting there, and we might want to add just a little bit more water if we need to. Not a whole lot, but we're getting there. And, you know, you can cook steamed items with other things other than water. You could use broth. You could even use wine. You could use other flavored uh, water that have been flavored with herbs. But water is certainly the easiest one. How's the broccoli coming now? This is going to get done a little bit quicker. It's getting there, isn't it? I believe. Well, I might. Do I have time, David, to start on a surprise? A surprise. Let's do the I've surprise. I've got a surprise for you. You know, we've been talking about steaming broccoli and steaming carrots and eggplant and potatoes and uh, what else did we steam? Uh, I think that's all. Green beans. The green beans. But have you ever steamed fish? I have not. Well, 
David, steaming fish is one of the easiest ways we can prepare the fish. Um, easy because it's healthy, it's nutritious, and it cooks evenly and there's no mess. To steam the fish, and we're going to steam today some um, Mai Mai. And I'm going to take this out and kind of put it right there. And we can go ahead and start it's ready. It's heating. Is it heating? Okay. Well, what we're going to do um, is we're going to put our fish into this steamer. And we're just going to be steaming Mai Mai today. We could steam any uh, firm fish, like grouper or um, what's some other firm fish? Bass. Bass, Bass is, is a firm fish. Uh, swordfish, grouper, halibut. Uh, in fact, our Cook Smart Eat Smart example is an example of uh, steaming lime steamed fish fillets, and they've used halibut. But today, we're going to use Mai Mai. And what did you tell me earlier about Mai Mai, David? Well, I was worried about it being smarter than I am. <laughs> well, it's not smarter than we are, but it sure is delicious. It now, is one that the environmentalists do say is a, a one that is suitable for eating. It, it re reproduces very fast, grows very fast and they feel it is being sustainably harvested. Wonderful, so we've made a wise selection with Mai Mai. Super, super. Uh, when I, 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 I really shouldn't have already cut this up, but I did. I took the Mai Mai filet and I cut it into uh, strips with scissors, my meat scissors, and the strips are about three inches long. And the reason we're cutting them is, of course, so they will steam faster, steam more evenly, and to cut down on our cooking process. And as I look at these, I've got one or two that are a little bit longer than maybe they should have been. But this is going to be so easy. We're just going to add the Mai Mai to the steamer. Okay? We don't have to worry about a basket this time. We're adding, as you see, I've got a lot of Mai Mai. Next thing you do is take a lime and you just squeeze the lime onto the Mai Mai. Oh, this lime smells so good. Then, on top of the uh, lime that has been squeezed on the Mai Mai, I'm going to then sprinkle some onions. So we're just putting a lot of uh, little chopped onions on top of the Mai Mai, and you, we would do this whether we were using grouper, Mai Mai, the halibut, or, or whatever firm fish. And then we're going to sprinkle some pepper on it. And you're going to see that the pepper really makes it a lot more attractive because this is pretty white when it's finished. Okay, David, are we ready? We're going to now we're steaming, have yes. we got the steamer going? Wonderful. So we're just going to put the lime uh, coated Mai Mai into the steamer and we're going to turn it up to high, it's on high, but after it gets going, we'll probably turn it down. It's generally a good idea to turn it down uh, to maybe a, a medium high rather than keeping it on high the whole time. But now we're just going to wait. It's going to be probably about eight or nine or ten minutes. Generally, when you cook fish, you allow one uh, inch, the, if the fish is one inch in thickness, you allow about ten minutes for it to be cooked. However, steaming is going to cook it faster. Steaming is going to cook the vegetables faster. It's going to cook the Mai Mai faster. Uh, steaming is such a neat way to cook. It cuts down your cooking time so very much. I'd say we're ready on the Are we dinner. ready? Okay. Well, let me bring my uh, plate over, David. Or I tell you what, we can lift it. Um, I already have some things steamed and we're ready to go into business. Let's just um, carefully lift that out and it's going to be very hot. Might need to use a pot holder. And we're going to, let's go, where can we work here? Uh, let's just put it right here. And how hot is that? Pretty hot. We're just going to, oops, look at that. <laughs> we got a 10 second rule. Oh, we have a 10 second rule. All right, now how's the broccoli looking? The stems still seem firmer than the florette, the top part. Okay, that's, our, oh, we're coming along. I think we're just about ready. Have we run out of water? No, no, we're, we're fine. We'll okay, take the temperature down, but. 
Okay. Or we can give it another. Well, let's, I think it's fine. You want these vegetables to be crisp. We don't want them to be soggy. Now, I think what I'm going to do here, because we've got so many vegetables already on the plate, I think my best bet will be to just spoon them on. What do you think? I think so. Now, this is the time that we would want to add some lemon juice to the broccoli. Um, have your Parmesan cheese handy for your eggplants, your cinnamon for your uh, carrots. Um, it, it, we've got a number of spices that we could use. But doesn't that look delicious, Davis? Looks great to me. And look, how many look vegetables? At color. <laughs> look at the color and the shape has been retained. Is that broccoli not beautiful? The broccoli is absolutely beautiful. The carrots look beautiful. I'll tell you a secret. Due to timing, I steamed these about the potatoes about three hours ago because I knew we were going to run out of time. And look how wonderful they still look and the green beans. Do they not look like they've been dyed with color? But we've prepared one, two, three, four, five vegetables in about 10 minutes and steaming is certainly a quick and easy way to prepare those vegetables. And they look very good. Well, thank you, good. David. Thank you. David, let's check that fish. I can smell it. That's a good reason to check it, isn't okay, it? Okay, it's a great reason to check it. Oh, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? I'm going to take a fork and just reach in and kind of gently flake it. And I I think it's ready. It's flaking so well. Now what we're going to do is we will just lift this pot or lift the steamer out because it is very, very hot as you can tell. And we're just going to put it right here and we're ready now to lift the Mai Mai out onto our plate. Can you, oh, oh golly, I need to test it too. You, you've forgot to mention that to me. You know, I'll fish, you. Uh, fish uh, should have an internal, internal temperature of about 145. And we've done the flake test, so we feel like it's pretty, pretty definitely done. It's up to 132 so far. May have put it in a little bit. It's coming on up, isn't it? Hey, it just hit 145. 147. All they right. are totally ready. We are, we've tested by the flake test and we've tested by the uh, food, instant read food thermometer. All right, let's bring this mai mai out. And aren't you glad we added some pepper to it? Because that definitely gives it a little bit more color. It looked pretty bland, wouldn't it, without the uh, pepper, I think. This is going to be so good. You're going to love sampling the mai mai, David, if I don't beat you to it. <laughs> That look great. And if you think you want a little bit more pepper, you could certainly add some pepper now. Um, and it, we've just added some more of the lime slices. It's after all, this is a lime steamed fish fillet. And then the parsley adds some color too. But wasn't this easier than doing a fried fish? Or do you think They're it was? Easier than frying? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yes, it was easier and a lot more nutritious. And it's something that a beginner cook can do because you notice once we put the fish into the steamer, we didn't have to turn it. We didn't have to do anything except let the steam do its job and let the vapor do its job and steam the Mai Mai. I think it looks great. I'm getting hungry. Isn't it fun, Dave, to, David, to try new vegetables and fish with a new technique such as steaming? And the real thing we want to make sure as we do steaming, uh, remember this water is so very hot and handle it with caution. But the other secret to steaming is make sure that the water is not into the basket or the steamer. You want the water to be just under it so the vapor and the steam is what's cooking the Mai Mai or the vegetables. This has been great fun and I'm looking forward to doing another segment soon and I think it's great when we eat smart and eat local. local and it's simply easy to prepare.